the reaction of the players been like since the Chelsea defeat? Obviously, they're very, very down on on the result, you know, and like all of us was. And um, but in the nature of this game, where you have to just bounce back, you know, and we're on to the next one, and the next one is, comes around thick and fast, and uh, massive game against Benfica, you know, one of the giants of European football, and uh, we're all looking forward to it. Sandro just said that the players didn't have any problems with you saying that, that in public. Uh, looking back on it, do you think it might sort of have a galvanising effect? On yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, um, they know how, how I how I am. They know how I felt about about what happened. And um, but we're moving on. You know, we've got you've got to move on. You can't dwell on it. You know, they're all men. They all appreciate that I'm I'm sing, I'm singing it from the heart, not from a script. You know, I'm not I'm not an actor. I work on impulse, and, and that's exactly what it was. Have you had a chance to speak to Daniel Levy and Tulsa? Yeah, but no, no sit-down meeting. You know, no, 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 nothing more than what I normally do. We see him here every day. They're all based here now. The the office staff are all here at the training ground. So I've seen him a few times. And do you still feel that you have his full support going forward? I think so. Yeah, well, I'm planning for next season. So you know, it's going to be important. If I, it's no good me planning for next season if uh, if someone else is coming in. No, no, no conversation regarding that with him. Right. Was it all about playing for next season? Yeah, about playing in pre-season, looking at players who do I want to keep. A lot of these players now who are here are going to plan for their future, and I think they realise that now. You know, I'm going to have a good look at the whole squad and see who I need to keep and see who I need to bring in. And we've got that chance between now and the end of the season to to prove they want to play for a great giant of a club like Tottenham Hotspur. Why well, there's been some teething from the new players coming in and taking some time to settle? Yeah. Surely, if the players plan for the future, you don't want them to do that over all in the summer. Do you? I don't know. That's for that's for me to decide with the club. You know, whether whether we want that or not. Uh, you know, you make a valid point, but we're obviously going to look at that in, in great detail and, and decide where the changes need to be made. But there will be changes. Then, right? Oh, without doubt, there always is, isn't there? Always has been over over a period of time. There's always been changes. You're going to need new personnel. You're going to have players who who perhaps want to move on and uh, but more so I want players who want to play for the club and um, and they've got another between now and the end of the season to show that they're playing for the club and not for themselves I don't think at any football club a player should be doing the club a favour by playing for them any club I'm saying uh, I think you you'll see you'll see a lot of players uh, all over all over Europe or all over the world sometimes they think they've outgrown the football club that can't be the case you know these lot of people pay a lot of money to watch these football clubs and it's and it's in their in their blood, you know. And I think that players owe it to them to uh, to perform 100% for the shirt, and yeah, and that and that's where we are with it, you know. So it's not just uh, this football club; it's it's every football club. And it annoys me when I do see them players who think that they're actually doing the club a favour by by representing them. I certainly hope not. Those players you suspect of lacking guts and character, will you still be playing them and giving them another chance to prove themselves? Everyone gets a second chance. Everyone should should get. I'm never ever going to burn bridges with players, you know, because ultimately you um, they're assets to the football club, and um, and they've got an opportunity to respond. It's out. It's out there now. They they know what they know what's required. Um, it's not about going and. and Going one nil up and then playing well. It's about when, when in adversity, who wants to roll the sleeves up, and that's what I'm looking for. Do you think it's the first time for some of those players that pennies drop that you're that they're playing for their future? Maybe, maybe. I can't honestly, I can't answer for them, but they, I mean they're under no illusions now. Given the money spent in the summer, are the new players safe or are they just you know, playing for their future as much as anyone else? I've got yeah, level playing field, level playing field from the from the kids to the to the money signings. No one's going to get preferential treatment just because of a price tag or a reputation. It's about what they're doing on the pitch. You know, any any all the experts can pick their own team. I'm seeing them every day. You know, it's no, no point just looking at highlights and and saying we did this wrong, that wrong. I'm looking at these players every single day. I I know the DNA of the guys, and I know the ones I can trust and the ones I can't. It's been a risk at all. Saying just before these two next two games, so huge for the rest of the season, you need the reaction. Do you think there's a risk at all? 
No, I mean, you know, listen, they're men. You know, they're men, and I and I expect nothing. I'm, I'm a manager. I'm not a babysitter. Um, I want to see. Listen, any, anyone can play bad. Anyone can get outplayed. We know that as football. That's the nature of it. But what you cannot do is get out fault and out desired. And I, and I, I do not want to see that happening again. And I don't want to see a capitulation. I want to see the same desire and attitude from minute one to minute 95. You know, and, and I won't tolerate anything less than that. And the players know that now. But it's out there and the, and the fans will look, be looking for it and they will demand it also because if you owe anything to these fans, it is 100% desire because that costs nothing.